day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back. I hope you still continue to stay safe or keep that social distance. Stay home as much as you can. Pray for those who are sick and battling this thing. Pray for the family member who lost their loved ones. Those 64,000 people who have died based on the report uh, is just not acceptable. And we need to continue to pray for them. Amen. And pray for this thing to be delivered. Pray for the scientists that see they can come up with treatments, come from come up with vaccines uh, so that we can can return back to normal or at least a new norm and understanding while we've been at home that we're spending time with the Lord and he can you can hear him because of the limited distractions that you have but there's people who I understand you know to go into the those food lines uh, uh, just tremendous. So you're right, there's, there's a lot of people suffering right now and they want this pestilence to defeat it. But one of the things that there's some people that are actually uh, protesting to open things up and just disregard the danger, the threats to our community and society. And we discussed it in our last Bible study. Uh, this one was on the 19th of uh, April. Uh, this is part C. And, and, and I, I thought it was could apply today as it applied to Israel when uh, this scripture was read uh, or written by Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 6. And, and ride with me here. It said, also I heard the voice of the Lord, and the whole study is talking about learn to listen to God, for you've been sent. Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, here I am, send me. And he said, go, and tell this people, hear you indeed, but understand not. To me, if I was people who sit there and say, open it up without going through, taking precautions and not any mitigations, they may not be hearing, right? Or understanding. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Even though the, 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 re, the reports of 64,000 people up to this date have died from this virus. And next time you next video that comes out we could be approaching to the 70s thousand and I hope we're not in the 80 thousand uh, this is the 2nd of May that this video is being uh, recorded and it says right here make the hearts of this people fat so full of junk of this world and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed I'm just sitting there saying is that we're trying to heal, be healed it's based on hearing from the Word of God understanding the Word of God perceiving the things of God and what's going on that's why it's time and opportunity to spend time in prayer, seeking his face in this midst of, the, of this, this pestilence where 64,000 people have died in, in this country alone. Millions of people have died in the, in the world. And, and, and our country right now is leading in the death. Wow. And this scripture right said, he said, go and, and they're not understanding, they're not perceiving, they're not hearing, right? He said here in verse 11, Then said I, Lord, how long? And that's what we're asking, right? How long before we get a vaccine? How long we get some proper treatment? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants. 
Listen to that. Cities wasted without half to mean there's nobody there. Because we we didn't listen, didn't want to understand, didn't want to proceed. And the houses without man. Come on now. To the point where the houses are empty as well because we don't want to hear, we don't want to perceive, we don't understand the word of God to the point where the cities are wasted and the houses are empty and the land be utterly desolate. This happened to Israel. Israel was taken out by Babylon. They came back. Israel in 70 AD was taken out by Rome. And it stood as a desolate city until Israel popped back up again in 1948. We're talking 7 AD, 70 AD, and then, then the Israel returned as a nation in 1948. That's a long time. And this prophecy said this was going to happen. It had happened to them. And I'm trying to say, let's not let this happen to us. Let this not happen to your house. Let this not happen to your cities. Huh? And the Lord have removed men far away because they didn't listen. And they'll be great forsaken in the midst of the land because they're not listening. Hmm. But yet it shall be a tenth. It, you know, tenth is, 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 is uh, when we do a tithe, the tenth. If you're talking about a remnant be the tenth, that's 90% of the population could be destroyed because they don't want to listen to the voice of God. And it shall return, it shall be eaten as a tea tree and as an oak whose substance is in them when they cast their leaves. So the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Jesus is the substance. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the hope. I'm trying to tell you, listen to that prophecy. Read it again, Isaiah 60. I mean, uh, verse chapter 6, 8 through 13. And if we don't hear, we don't listen, we don't perceive, could this also happen to us? Many nations have fallen. Great nations. Egypt was a great nation. Come on now. Israel itself was a great nation. And then it was wiped out. And came back in 1948. If it doesn't listen, same thing happened again. If we don't listen, it can happen to us as well. Hear from God. Listen for the voice of God in your spiritual ear. Not your physical ear, but your spiritual ear. Be led by God, and He shall direct your path. Amen? So I hope you understand, I hope you study the video, and I hope you read Isaiah 6, chapter 6, 8 to 13 yourself. And ask yourself, is this prevalent today? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next week. And I hope next time you get this video, uh, which will be a new subject, is the fact is that uh, we want the death rate to go down, not up. So right now, 64,000 as of the 2nd of May. Come on. Let's, let's, do, let's, hiss, let's listen. We can't afford not to. Amen? All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And understand, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye. You know, so even when we put out, when I, one time, you know, back in Obama's time, they saying this, let us uh, let's, uh, call America uh, exceptional. We are exceptional people. We 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 we're, we're 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 unique. We're you know remember that political thing? I guess a couple of years ago about being exceptional. Ah, oh, he is. He is exceptional. If we're exceptional, we're exceptional as being lifting him up. We 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 put it on our currency to say in God we trust. Amen. If that's what you yes. want to call it, exceptional, that's where the exceptional is. It has to always point not to politics, not to parties, but to him. Amen. That's what he's trying to say. I'm just showing a difference. That's all I'm trying to come from. So, Elder, go ahead, Elder. Uh -huh. What you got, Elder? What you got? What you got? You want to finish it? Yes, sir. You got to finish it, sir.
Okay. I'll go to let it go down there, confounding language. And there, confounding language that they may not understand one another speak. So the Lord gathered them abroad from this upon the face of all the earth. Did you read verse 6? Did you read verse 6? You read verse 6? I thought I did. I can back up there. I remember verse 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Yes, sir. And they all have one language. And what they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. All right, let's stop right there, Elder. Back to the vision again, Chris. Because they imagine, they visualize. But they had a yeah. vision. But God is also showing y'all, though, guys, because we're talking about that day. Let us go. Let us do, right? They're showing you the power of imagination that God has given every last one of us. And and But if you allow the imagination or the vision that doesn't line up with him, God is going to correct. But he's saying it's, 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 this is a very power. This is power right here. They said nothing will be restrained from what they imagine to do. Amen. We need to understand walking by faith, there's a power in walking by faith. But, and, and, but we want to make that power line up with a source, which is God Almighty. That's what God said. We walk by faith. We walk by faith, right? Not by sight. The just shall live by faith, right? But we have to have faith in what? Faith not, see I think Christmas is that if we have faith in our country, if we have faith in our wealth, if we have faith in somebody else, if we have faith in a denomination, if we have faith in anything other than God, we're out of order. It's going to fill us. That's the whole point. That's what you're yeah. talking about. We said we had the best health system. Did, did we not say that? Did somebody not tell we had the best health system in the world? Yes, sir. Support, we should have, anyway. The what? way we manage it, it, it's managed because of money. So whenever you well, put money... The, the love of money. The it, love it, of it, money. It bring, down, it bring down great, great kingdom. Come on, brother. Yeah. You know. Anything that exalts itself, that's all I'm trying to say. What's going on there? Anytime we exalt something above God is going to crumble. It's a foundation yes. that can't withstand the storm. See, I'm saying this is a storm. This, 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 this pestilence is a storm. It's, right. it's, it's beating on a foundation. And the foundation <laughs> has, has fallen. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and if we're not careful to make sure we get back on the right foundation, mm -hmm. it's going to be a great fall. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be destroyed. I mean, the, the, the funny thing about it is that all nations are going to be eventually done away with. It talks about the earth itself being removed. So every government of this earth, of this world system is going to be eradicated. The kingdom of God is the only kingdom that's going to stand for eternity. It's an eternal kingdom. So Christ will reign supreme forever. And he reigns now. He reigns now. Right. Right. If we watch this world system go through its death throes, our job and our task is to point out, you know, toward the kingdom of God and, and, and encourage people to join it. You know, that they might be saved even in this life and even in life to come for eternity. Exactly. So there's still reaching among us. There's still healing among us. I yes, mean, sir. When he said, I thought it was so funny that these things come to pass in my lifetime because, you know, I would always talk about these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They'll cast out those that speak with their tongue, they'll take up service, they, break, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. <laughs> these signs are great. So the kingdom of God has actually been empowered to do things above what the world system is able to do. If not, even prayers, our prayers, early faith and prayer, rights and man avail a bunch. When we will pray for the right thing. Yes, sir. You know, when we pray anything in his will, he said he would do it. Right. This is the position that we sit in right now. We're still at the top of the food chain when we stop trying to be a part of the, of the world system. Right. When mm -hmm. we start right above and outside of that system, then we can begin to manage it or begin to influence it in a greater manner. Right. But we're still going to the world for our, our guidance. We're still going to the politicians to find out what they support, what, what needs to be done. They don't know what needs to be done. They're functioning solely on the input that they get from their brains, from their minds detached from Christ. Their fallen state is influencing every decision that they make. 
they can't do quote unquote the right thing. Right. Not in the course, not to the level that the kingdom of God can, because we get guidance from from the Father Himself. Right. So my question here is, and still is, I guess now, has been what, how are we supposed to manage this? We know this is about the kingdom. We know this is about the children of God. We know this is about the presence of God's kingdom. What is God doing with this circumstance and this situation, and what's our response to that? Well, well I don't want to make it political here because I, like, we'll get off base on it, but the bottom line is pray for our country, pray for the people that support the person that you're talking about, but God is going to work this out. And that's what he's saying, that paradigm shift is look to him. Don't look to the building. Don't look to our leadership because some of our leadership, look, some of the leadership you're talking about in some of our big churches, Chris, are they not standing you know, behind somebody? Yes, sir. So, yes, so, sir. so that's you know, why you really, you really don't want me to start going off where I want to go. I'm being nice right now. Exactly. Y'all notice I'm just sitting here being nice. <laughs> exactly. And I just want that's what I'm saying. Is so Genesis four is an eerie way of saying, let us go. Let us do, let us make a name, and God is saying, look, I'm going to respond to that. And that's what's happening. So, Elder, we're going to leave this slide, and then we're going to close out on the next slide, okay? And let, let me throw one thing in before all this go. And this is, what, this is when I sit back and I say, we are having a great conversation, and this is pertinent, because I done took this all the way back to original parable we need to know. You sit there and you put your seeds on shaky ground. We have all, this country has put its seeds on shaky ground. We are all the way back to this is where we need to go. If you understand that parable, you'll start to learn what we're going through. Come on, brother. There you go. Right. We put our seeds in the wrong place. We're going to become unfruitful. And now you're yes. seeing the results of unfruitfulness. It's just speaking yes. for itself. If we put ourselves in the wrong foundation, it's going to crumble. Yes. And it's going to be a while for this whole nation to recognize we need Jesus. We need God. And God is sitting there saying, if you don't, I'm, I'm going to come down and confound you just like he did with these people. Mm -hmm. So, Ellen, if you wrap that up, because we're at 10 o'clock, y'all, so you know I went way past y'all y'all time. <laughs> I, and I want, and I, I want to make sure y'all keep coming back. So if I go past too much time, y'all be like, "Wait a minute, man!" <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so go ahead, y'all, to finish it up, and then we can do the last slide. We'll wrap it up. Okay. Yeah. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. <laughs> Therefore, his the name was called Babel, because <laughs> the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. <laughs> and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Uh huh. Hey, 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 bro, yeah. hey, hey, Chris, God is working this, is what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. He, 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 he going to fix this real quick, is all I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Our job, though, is, and this is, this is, uh, who hasn't read yet? <laughs> brother, bro, brother, brother, Chris, you can close this yes, out. Sir. This is a commission. And, 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 and this is it's an commission. Old Testament commission. And it's kind of telling you, What's going on? It's telling you some people not believing the report. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Chris. All right, Isaiah 6, starting at 8. <laughs> so I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Uh huh. Then said I, Here I am. Send me. Now, and Brother Addison, he says, Send you now. He's sending you out, Brother Adams. Mm -hmm. okay. And he said, go and tell his people, indeed, but understand not. <laughs> he indeed, but perceive not. That's what's going on, ain't it? They, yeah. <laughs> just ain't getting it. Go ahead, you now. You don't see it. You don't get it. You don't understand it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make the heart of this people fat. What? And make their ears heavy. What? And shut their eyes. What? Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Yeah. And understand with their heart. What? And convert and be healed. Now, 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 now keep hearing it. Look, the elder, listen to what's going on. Mm hmm Because this is, this is, Brother Addison, 
what's happening right now. And if we don't turn around, if we don't focus on the paradigm shift of depending on God, look what's going to happen. And Chris, read that last piece there. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, <laughs> until the cities be wasted. Wow! What? <laughs> Our inhabitant and the houses without man Woo. and the land be utterly desolate. Oh! I I'm sorry, y'all. I, I was looking at that and it didn't look pretty. Brother Allison, that, that didn't look pretty. Because he even asked him, how long, Lord? How long? If they don't hear, if they don't perceive, if, they, if their eyes are blind, he said, I'll, get, I'll take it to the point where it's desolate. A proverb. That's a dangerous statement that happened back in Isaiah time, y'all. Amen. And you know yeah. what? It did happen. <clears throat> now, either we repent as a nation, as a people in the world, something like this. This 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 is just the first wave, y'all. And and, and it, look what can happen. Look what can happen if we don't line ourselves up. With God, it did, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but that's a, that's a very, that's a hard saying right here. It really it, is. It really that, is. That is not pretty. You know, Go ahead. We've, we've, uh, we've come so far, uh, as as far as technology, we've we've made everything readily available. Everything is about speed, and 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 access quick access of necessities and everything that we have we made time yes sir we made we made time to be idle but we filled that idle time with with everything you know uh that 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 feeds our flesh you know there's there's the internet there's the television there's you know there's there's uh video games there's there's everything to keep you out of God's will, which is is to move from faith to faith. Yes, sir. And this has slowed down, or or made, or or, or, or given us an opportunity to utilize. Yes, sir. That free time that we have with all this this ingenuity to give us time. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I know. So so we can we can cook a meal quick it doesn't take all day it yes, doesn't sir. require you in the kitchen all day so and and we can we can we got machines to to help us build we we got vacuum cleaners to help us vacuum you know what i'm saying everything yes, is, has become instant and 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 it takes less time so we have more time to get before god yes sir to be still yes sir to get in his word and this has really shifted us to this opportunity yes, sir. to grow and to move from faith to faith. We have all the time we need. We, yes, we, we are self-isolating. Yes, sir. Yes. We are not by ourselves. Right. Yes, but you hit on something right there because why are they trying to get football back on? Why are they trying to get all the sports and stuff back on? We got to occupy yes. your mind. We got to occupy your time again. We got to pull you back off the court. They got it. Like you say, what about it? this little time, we can all clear our minds. Yes. Clear your minds from all the political crap, but they still stirring it up. If you can stay focused, like you said, they can't fire on us like they always do. So they they keep this pandemic going to keep you eyed on what the president doing, what they doing. On that. He gonna say one thing, this one gonna say another, and you still gonna just be spinning in one spot. Like you said, this is the one time you can get some calm and just sit down and figure it out for yourself. Hey Chris, I'm trying to understand how people wanna go back. You know how dangerous it is. Look, it's, it's, it's showing you how many people are dying. 
It's showing. Yes. It's showing if he have been affected. This, this, this over. It's. I guess by the time we finish this video, times by the time I edit this video and send it out, we're gonna have forty thousand people dead. Yeah. But what it is, Pastor, is like um, most things. Those people who want us to go back Woo. don't think that this pertains to them. Uh, but how can how can? But look they at them. If they did, if they did, Yo. they wouldn't. If y'all notice, they this would. virus is only attacking or predominantly attacking minorities. Like, now y'all don't want me to start that one, but that like, let that go. But I think, I think I think I think Chris. Think. I think Chris, that's a that's I think that's a deception in the sense that what you're saying, listen to what I'm saying. If they think that, just like first black people thought that they this was a white person disease and getting their butt kicked, it can reverse itself because this thing does not care about your color, does not care about your race, does not care about anything. I'm saying is when if if we go if we go back to the behavior of normal fill the stadiums about go back to your workplace it's going to get everybody because you're going to you see i'm saying and then that's why i'm looking at this scripture here so how long lord elder y'all listen to what i'm saying people listen to if this is going live say live stream and listen verse 11 says how long Huh? Yes. Here's the thing. Let me let me chime in again. Going back to what I just said, and I'm not going to name any names, but we just had a congregational member pass away, and the family uh, could not be there uh, for you know the situation. As a matter of fact, I uh, hadn't, and, and this has been a couple of days now. And can you imagine what that family's going through, knowing that their family member passed away with no one there? Right. Now, there, there's, there's nobody right now, and certainly not in large numbers, saying, hey, let's get back together, Sandy Valley, and, and uh, you know, in the building, et cetera, et cetera. No, everybody is communicating, social distancing. Let's do what we need to do. We are still connecting. We're still networking. We're still, um, you know, getting into our word. But again, uh, people that are affected, they can see it. They can feel it. It is personal. Uh, these folks that are saying let's get them back together in large numbers, what kind of sense does that make <laughs> when potentially those individuals, not just the folks that come together there, but again, that got, it will spread out once again. And um, so I, I, I'm going back to, you know, what is God telling me? Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Uh, anybody can, t can walk up to to Brother Jackson and say, hey, we're going to get back together and do such to, you know what Brother Jackson going to say? I'm, I'm listening to what God's telling me. I'm listening to what God is saying. Regardless as to what the worldly consequences are, uh, I'm going to listen to what God tells me. I know. And, and that's the way I'm going And that's the problem saying, so if 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 we go to verse 11, Chris, if we don't repent, that, that statement <laughs> of, Lord, this said, our Lord, how long? And he answered, mm -hmm. Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, without and the man. houses without man, <laughs> and the land be utterly desolate, if we don't <clears throat> listen yes, from sir. the voice of God, <laughs> guys, did, mm -hmm. are you catching where I'm coming from? This is a sobering thought. There's people that want to <laughs> protest and go back and say, I want to work. What good is working if you're dead? That's what, right. What good is working mm -hmm. if you're bringing disease back to your children? And, and they have people out there protesting. They have children it's out there. It's hard, to, it's hard to have a rational conversation with somebody that's irrational. It don't work. Well, and then, right. But God got to ask. And then the thing, I'm concerned about the followers. And like I said, I'm concerned about the nation, Chris, just to make sure we understand. They need to, everybody need to repent and hear from God. And like you said, that parable, where's your seeds falling? The seeds are falling on some bad ground. And if we don't repent, it'll kill us. That's all I'm trying to say. I want to leave it with that. Y'all got y'all communion juice yet? 
If you can get it. Uh, yeah. mm, oh, I need to go get yeah. mine real quick. Give me one sec. Yes, sir. So, so that's what, the, and Chris, that's why I'm leaving that sober thought. Because the enemy wants to bring everybody together so he can kill them. Like you said, it's impacting the <laughs> urban areas because they live on top. They're stacked on one another. They live close together. So he said, I can get them. But you know, yeah. I really, I really want, I need to get the rest of them. And this is what yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to bring them, I'm going to try to bring them more together. Mm -hmm. Because this thing is fed by connection, passing on from one person to the next. Distance, you see it's working to a degree. Yes. Distance yes. does not allow that thing to be fed. The people mm -hmm. right now that's trying to say, I want to go to work, I want to go to the stadiums. Yes. Look, what is, they're playing it to the hand of the enemy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's crazy. It's that's crazy. the fear. That's the problem, y'all. And, and and I hope they, those who want to pass it on, Isaiah six eleven, they said, Lord, how long? And he answered, If you keep going the wrong way, if you stay on the wrong path, it'll last as long as it takes to tell the cities are wasted, and without inhabitants, and the houses without man. And the land is utterly desolate. Mm -hmm. So, hey, let's keep these people in prayer. But if y'all want to leave, I leave my sovereign thought, sobering thought, Isaiah 6 11. How long? If we don't repent, if we don't start looking back to the Lord, we're going to be a desolate place. Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, Brother Jackson, you do your thing. Let us pray. Go ahead, Dear Father, hear our prayer. And to you, all the glory, honor, and praise, irregardless as to what our individual situations are. And Lord, for the blessings that we have and that we are pleased with, we thank you for those that are seen and unseen. But Lord, we know that there are those who are struggling, those who are hurting, those who have suffered great loss. We pray for them. Have mercy on their souls, dear Father. And we, we pray for our leadership. Amen. We may not agree with everything, Amen. but Lord, we know that you have your hand in it all. We don't necessarily see it all, but we have faith in you and what you are doing. Have your will and your way. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, your one and only begotten son, the savior of the world, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, whose name is above all names. We thank you, Jesus, that even in the midst of all that is going on, we can pause and think of you, and we can remember you, as you've said before, that every time we have this community, that we are to do this in remembrance of you. We thank you, dear Jesus, for such a blessing, for such a blessing that you have restored that relationship for us back to the Father. And so now, Jesus, we take this bread, we break it, and eat it in remembrance of you. Amen. 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 And now, Jesus, this cup that we have, Symbolic of your pure, your precious, your divine, your holy blood, shed for all mankind. We thank you, Jesus, for you being there at the right hand of God, handling it all. Father, it burdens us. We mourn for the situation that is in this world. But as we said earlier, faith, let us be strong in it. Let us see and be a part of your divine commission, dear Jesus. And let us do as we are doing now and continue to spread that gospel by any means necessary. Amen. We to your way and your way. We say these things in Jesus and your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah, brothers. Hallelujah, brother. God amen. bless y'all.